Add-ons and coupons are great features that can add functionality to uh, your scheduling, especially when you want to offer discounts or you want to a, give additional options for a person while they schedule with you. So how do we access this? If you uh, go down here to business activities under appointment types, after types, these are uh, their add-ons. So I'm just going to talk about add-ons right now. So these are extra things that you can offer a person. They can pay for them or they can be for free. Right now, I'm just going to create an add-on uh, just to show you how these work. So we click this button. Uh, you remember we had created um, an example of a person who wants to do uh, classes for computer maintenance, but they might not have a computer. So we can say hire a laptop uh, on the day for maybe one hour or something like that. So we can say we had charged them before. We can put an additional charge, let's say, of $25. Uh, we can put the duration uh, of the time to say uh, maybe one hour. But in this case, I'm just going to put zero. Uh, we need to allow the client to add this, uh, 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 this add-on while they are booking. We can also now select where, which events they can buy this add-on. For example, in here we have computer maintenance lesson, computer hardware maintenance lessons. They can now book for these. They can just pay the $25 there. Once we do that, we say create, and it will take us to the main page for add-ons. There we go. We have an option here to duplicate or delete uh, this add-on. We're also going to see how this comes out on the main page when a person is booking. Another function which is quite useful are coupons. Say you want to encourage people to book with you and you are charging for lessons or for a specific service. You might be a dentist, you might be a lawyer or something. Um, you can create coupons as discounts. Um, here, we simply click where it says new coupon for appointments. Let's say it's um, Black Friday, so we can just uh, say Black Friday, one, two, three. You can also create multiple codes, uh, which you can give different people if you want to do that, you simply click here and add multiple uh, codes uh, where you can distribute to different people. So these codes, you can put the discount. This discount is going to remove a certain percentage from the pricing that you have put, say here 25% uh, discount, uh, or you can also put a dollar discount to say I remove $10 or something. A customer can use this once or multiple times. In this case, we're just going to choose, they're going to use it once. We can also point to where the code works. Uh, we just can't say any appointment in my case. So we're just going to limit it to computer maintenance lessons and computer hardware lessons there. We can also put the expiration. It's really put, uh, important to put expiration because this one is for Black Friday. So, uh, well, it was just for an example. You can't have a Black Friday in December, right? <laughs> so... Just as an example, we put an expiration day uh, to say 31 December. Uh, then once you do this, um, I'd not put the name for the coupons. Just say Black Friday uh, discount. There you go, Black Friday discount. So once we save the coupon, it becomes active on the meetings that we have uh, pointed on. Now let's take a look at how it will come out when we try to schedule the uh, specific uh, meetings that we've uh, assigned the coupon and the add-on. So I'm just going to go to the general scheduling page there. There we go. So we're just going to go to the group events because these are the ones where the coupon and the add-on work. We simply click book. So when a person wants to uh, uh, create an appointment for computer hardware maintenance lessons, they can add a $25 payment just to hire a laptop, right? Uh, also, once they do that, they can enter their name. Let me just do this uh, just to put as an example. Uh, there we go. 
you can also redeem the coupon so once you add the code there you can then say apply you can then say apply and then complete the appointment and you get a discount at the same time you can hire a laptop on the day and pay 25 dollars so while you complete the appointment you can pay using your card or paypal or something like that so this is generally how we make use of um, coupons and add-ons